Hi, my name is Bill Clanton. I am the illustrator and creator of Colorful Quotes and the more recent Colorful Christmas, uh, two coloring books for grown-ups that I self-published, designed all the artwork, and created myself. And after creating these books, I thought that since I was kind of a newbie to this particular form of publishing, that I would share this information with anyone else out there who may have the same aspirations to create your own coloring book for grown-ups. It seems to be a growing trend. So that is why I published my new Kindle book, which I invite you to check it out. It is Creating a Coloring Book for Adults, Learning the Secrets to Getting Your Coloring Book Published. And you may think, well, oh, how many big secrets can there be? And that's what I thought too, as I was developing it, that there were uh, some, you'd think that certain parts of it would have been very obvious. And for the most part, a lot of the process was very obvious. However, there were a few things that along my travels were kind of hidden. And I felt it, you know, just my obligation to share that information with you, the general public out there, other uh, artists, designers. Uh, maybe you just want to do it for fun. Maybe you want to do it to make the big bucks, <laughs> like, like the big... Uh, designers and artists that have made uh, adult coloring such a big phenomenon uh, in in more recent months, uh, actually in this past year. So in this video, I wanted to just introduce myself and introduce the book, Creating a Coloring Book for Adults, and share with you some of my tips for getting started with your book. And we're going to follow this as a series where you can follow along through the whole book where I touch on everything from, as I say, pencil drawings to digital downloads. So we will have all that information. You can expect some screen captures, uh, even just some video showing how I go from pencil drawing to ink to computer to published. And it's really not as uh, complex as you may think, but if you don't know what you're doing, you can make some mistakes along the way. When I first published Colorful Quotes, that book in particular was not hand-drawn. I did all the artwork on, uh, in Illustrator and Photoshop and did it all through the computer. And it was more of a concept book. And with that, it also came with its own degree of complexity. And then for Colorful Christmas, that one, every piece of artwork that was in it, the original artwork was done with a good old fashioned number two pencil, some tracing paper and black ink. And then the final product was put into the computer, obviously to then be published. So uh, before we dive into all the complexities of how all that process happens, I wanna go over with you some tips before you get started with your coloring book. So this would be the starting point. If you're thinking about it, maybe toying with the idea, this would be your starting point as far as organizing what you're going to produce. So we're gonna go over three topics in this video and in the next video, we'll continue the six topics that I suggest that you do before you begin your coloring book. So let's dive in. Number one. You may say, uh, well, I, it's something I might do. No, I would say commit yourself to this. And if you're going to build and create your own coloring book, make a website. Building a website is probably the most important beginning phase of this because marketing your book actually starts before it is published. Marketing your book starts before you even put the first pencil to the paper Marketing your book should start with building your own website or blog. Maybe that's more, you, you want something, but really there, is, there isn't much difference these days between a website and a blog. So if you want your book to be taken seriously, that's another aspect of this. You want your book to be taken seriously, then you should have a website that will back up your brand because that, in essence, that's what your brand. Maybe you're making one coloring book, maybe you're making a series of coloring books it is wise to understand that this 
it, it is a you are a brand and uh, many web hosting companies out there now have simple websites that you can have overnight and within a few hours in some cases you can have a fully functional website that will do what you need it to do so that's number one on the list get a website number two social media outside of having a website you must have a social media presence so that social media presence is not just limited to the ones that everybody knows like Facebook Facebook obviously is an important uh, social network that you should be a part of without a doubt so you want to be on Facebook but you also want to look at other avenues think of coloring and how visual of a medium it is so things like Instagram and Pinterest really also play into that whole sharing a vision or sharing a picture of what you're doing because it's not like you're sharing a few paragraphs of a written novel you're in essence creating your own visual novel that someone's gonna take the time to sit there and color you should explore every avenue you can to start a conversation with your potential uh, I don't necessarily want to say readers but we'll say potential colorers uh, so you want to make sure that you are involved in just about every social network you can that is going to meet your potential viewers it, where they are so if you're making a coloring first of all you should be if you're making a coloring book the first thing you should be looking for is just about every Facebook fan page every Twitter uh, handle that has anything to do with adult coloring that's kind of and whether you call it adult coloring or coloring for grown-ups uh, you should be on any of those social networks and posting regularly even though your book is maybe months away from being done right now is the time where you're forging those relationships with your potential readers moving forward and forging relationships with potential we'll say partners and colleagues in the coloring world so that's number two make sure you plan out a good social media strategy number three create an outline of your book so you've got some ideas and you've been wanting to create this book for a while maybe you have a few sketches in a sketch pad but organization is your best friend in this whole process if there if there's one thing that I learned about myself in the process of creating the coloring book it is definitely without a doubt sit down it can't take you that long write an outline of all the different images you plan on including in your coloring book now that may be you know for instance when I was creating colorful Christmas I knew that there were certain images that were associated with Christmas that I wanted to include in my coloring book so I made it a, a point to make a list of all the different images then sat down and prioritized came up with concepts for each one then after I created every image then sat down and actually detailed on a good old-fashioned <laughs> lined piece of notebook paper it can be a napkin for that matter as long as it's organized and you can write down page by page what you expect that book to have in it so number three create an outline and that is going to you know it's the same as if you're writing a novel or a nonfiction book the process is has many similarities to when you're creating a book that tells a story or a book that someone's gonna color you want to be as organized as you can before you start and then start that is you know the next most important part so those are three of what I say before you begin steps and I hope that that will get things started we'll continue with more of those steps in my next video and we'll go over a little more in detail what some of the other steps are but I invite you to check out my book it's available on Kindle and if you'd rather have the paper version it is available in paperback as well but you can get it right now and start reading it right now just click the link at the bottom of the video or 
Just search for Bill Clanton on Amazon. You'll find all three of my books there. Or just search for Creating a Coloring Book for Adults. Learn the secrets to getting your coloring book published. And I hope that's what we are able to help you with is getting your coloring book published. I'm Bill Clanton, and I hope you enjoyed this little look into some of my part of the process of how I work this, and we'll get more detailed as we go on with uh, future videos. So thanks for watching.